I know you've given extensive thought about the crime situation in Jamaica, and we're interested in hearing specific solutions and remedies that you might have in mind that can be acted upon immediately to address the problem. You're correct. PSOJ has given extensive thought to this issue. And the conclusion we have come to is that crime and pub the breakdown in public order right, are critical examples of what we need national consensus on. There are some issues that can only be solved acting together. Generally speaking, a country needs to move in one concerted direction. But in the case of crime, it is even more critical that we do that. Okay? And we have examples of how successful we can be when we have consensus. We have the Electoral, Reform, um, Electoral Affairs Commission, we have the Fiscal Reform and, and stru um, Structural Reform Program, we have the Energy Reform Program. So it's not that this is something that's foreign to us. The template is there. So our position is that to address in the short, medium, and long term, the problem of indiscipline, the breakdown in public order, and crime, which are all interrelated issues, we have to get together. All the stakeholders have to be at the table. What are the steps leading to this important consensus that you make reference to? Well, we think that the first thing that we have to do is have stakeholder consultations, which is what we're doing now. This is what the PSOJ is doing now. We're meeting with the unions, we're meeting with the church, we've met with the, um, the prime minister, we've met with the leader of the opposition, we've met with the minister of security, of national security. We have every intention of meeting with the minister of justice and their counterparts in the opposition. We're meeting with um, people in civil society who do social work to try and get an, a consensus on what their perception of the issue is. So far, so far, we are convinced that the murder rate, the high violence in this country, is clearly linked to the marginalization of the society, is linked to the lack of long-term planning in social structuring and reform, and is linked to, in general, the change, the constant changing over the electoral cycle of policies and plans to manage public order. Hence our call for a national summit on the issue of public order and crime and the need for a plan that crosses the electoral intersection and that the critical political stakeholders sign off on, on a high-level strategic basis. We're not trying to develop an operational plan. That's not our expertise. But what we're saying is that we must agree on some critical strategic areas that we address over a five-year cycle, a 10-year cycle, because this is how you build a society. That's, that, that is the established way to build a society. The issue of the state of the economy obviously plays a role here. How is the public sector responding to the lack of jobs, particularly in the poor areas? The public sector or the private sector? Private sector. private sector. The private sector has not responded well, okay? Because, and this is, our historical culture is one of the things that we have to bring to the table and address. Jamaica has suffered from social and economic marginalization for 100, 200 years, arriving or being caused by the way that our society has developed. And the private sector is part of that problem, okay? So we have marginalized our private sector. You have relatively large firms, and we have individual entrepreneurs and small hustlers and, and small businesses. The private sector this year has started an initiative to broaden its base to increase more of the medium and small enterprises because that's one way to address the marginalization of our society. People feel left out. People are left out of the structure of governance and, and of the structure of the society and therefore they seek their own ways to their own salvation. This is part of the approach that we think should be taken in formulating a long-term plan.